I'd like to welcome you to our Wednesday, November 11th, Holy Eucharist, Rite 1, and um, Healing Prayers. And so we celebrate from the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 323. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy hearts, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us say together our Gloria. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards all. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Take us away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, who has caused all Holy Scripture to be written for our learning, grant that we may in such wise hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by patience and comfort of thy holy word we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which thou hast given us in our Savior Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I'm going to read for you today from 1 Thessalonians, uh, from the epistle, and that's the fifth chapter, verses 1 through 10, and our psalm for the day is Psalm 123, and I will begin by reading the psalm. You may read along with me if you have your Book of Common Prayer, it's on page 780. To you I lift up my eyes, to you enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters, and the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, until he show us mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy, for we have had more than enough of contempt, too much of the scorn of the indolent rich, and of the derision of the proud. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be world without end. Amen. A Thessalonian readings from Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, verses 1 through 2. As to the times and reasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves know well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night, when people say, There is peace and security. Then sudden destruction will come upon them as travail comes upon a woman with child, and there will be no escape. But you are not in darkness, brothers and sisters, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all sons and daughters of light and sons and daughters of day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has not destined you to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. That's also Sunday's um, scripture for 
preaching that I'll be preaching from this Sunday. And this talks about how God has proclaimed upon us the ability to be light in darkness. What it means by that is, is that as light illuminates darkness, so too does he allow us as children of God to become light in a dark world. Jesus himself said that you are a city on a hill that cannot be hid. And so why would it behoove us to put a light under a bushel basket when we can be that city that people are drawn to so that we can show forth the praises of him who brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. So we are the light of the world, that city on a hill that cannot be hidden. So God bestows his love upon us through Jesus Christ that we should become the sons and daughters of God. And in that, we become new creatures. And in being new creatures, we become children of the light. So yes, we could retreat to darkness. We could retreat into dark places. We could retreat into a state of mind where we can't function. But God has allowed us to move out of the darkness and to bring light. Why would he allow us to out of darkness and to bring light. Because in the world, there are many people who still sit in darkness. It says people who are not sober, who are not awake, who are still concerned about the cares of this life. And he allows us to move into the world. And just by example of living or example of being, he allows us to bring light to people who are lost in the dark. We have a responsibility. Once the gospel has been placed in our hearts, we have a responsibility to become light. And John, the first chapter, spoke of light, that John was not the light, but he came to bear witness to the light. And then this light came into the world and lit up the world. And he came unto his own, and his own did not understand the light. They couldn't comprehend it. But to as many of us who received this light, we become the children of God. Even if the world doesn't comprehend, even if the children who Jesus came to do not comprehend, he's given it to us so that we can become the light of the world. So don't get caught up on whether you're awoke or not, because if you have light in you, you are wide awake. You are as woke as they get because the world is in need of light, especially in these times and in these moments. So I proclaim through the word of God, through just believing that you become the children of light. What a great privilege God has given us to become children of light in a dark time. You, my brothers and sisters, are the light of the world. Amen, amen. Let us proclaim our faith being light in the world, in a dark world, through the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made. Of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he came incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us turn now and pray the prayers of the people. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ Church and we pray for the world. Almighty and everlasting God, who in thy holy word has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all. Receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty 
beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, especially Michael Bruce Curry, our presiding bishop, to Eugene and Robert, our diocesan bishops, Father Fallowfield, our cleric and residence, to Marshall Thompson, our deacon, to our aspirants, Nathaniel, and Natalie, and Howard, and to Herschel, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace and especially to these congregations that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive your holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. We beseech thee also to rule the hearts of those who bear the authority of government in this and every land, especially Donald J. Trump, our president, and our president-elect Joseph Biden, that they may lead, be led to wise decisions and right actions for the welfare and the peace of the world. Open, O oh Lord, the eyes of all people to behold thy gracious hand in all thy works, that rejoicing in thy whole creation, they may honor thee with their substance and be faithful stewards of your bounty. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O oh Lord, to comfort and succor all grieving families and those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in faith and fear, especially those who have died from COVID in this terrible year of 2020, beseeching you to grant them continual growth in thy love and service and to grant us grace so to follow the good examples of St. Michael and St. James and all thy saints. And with them we be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant these our prayers, O Father. For Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Let us confess our sins unto God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against thee in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved thee with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in thy will and walk in thy ways, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who, with hearty repentance and true faith, turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If any man or woman sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the perfect offering for our sins, and not only ours, but for the sins of the whole world. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. We bring you greetings from the churches of St. James, the historic St. James Episcopal Church, and the Episcopal Church of St. Michael and All Angels. We welcome you on every Wednesday. We also welcome you on Sundays on YouTube. Uh, we are broadcasting currently on YouTube, and so on Sundays we welcome you also. At any time after 8 o'clock on Sunday, you may watch that service uh, along with all of your friends and family and neighbors. So we just welcome you in the name of the Lord. Know that we are trying our best to reopen, but as it stands now in the city of Baltimore, they've reduced back to phase one. And so we continue on this way virtually um, knowing that it's not really virtually, but God is in our hearts and God is everywhere. And so we move on to our Eucharistic prayer. And it begins uh, uh, in our Book of Common Prayer. Uh, you can follow along with us. Um, you can um, begin on page 340 of the Book of Common Prayer. Know that our communion is spiritual, so as I take communion, know that God is with you and in your hearts, and he becomes fully incarnate into your life through the practice of spiritual communion. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. 
Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is meet and right and so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who on the first day of the week overcame death and the grave, and by the glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for the thou of thy tender mercy didst give thy only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. When the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness or remission of sins. Do this as often as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, o Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial that thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks and for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. We most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit, these gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all of the benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him that he may dwell in us and we in him, and although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept our boundless duty and service, not wearing, weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom and in whom, and the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever.
Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. O Lamb of God, that take us away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that take us away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that take us away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. These are the gifts of God for you, the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on them in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which is given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him by faith with thanksgiving. Let us pray our post-communion prayer, found on page 339. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank thee for that thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favor goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of thy Son the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs to hope of thy everlasting kingdom. We humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace, my brothers and sisters, to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.